Hi everyone, in the previous tutorial we saw how to use scatter gather to get data from MySQL and Postgres. So we use scatter gather to send a request message to multiple targets concurrent. Request doesn't depend on the other, then we can we can submit them concurrently and it called scatter gather combines the payload from the different resources and it returns it as a single payload so we got here from mysql here from postgres and then we transformed it that right some data we've called here to get transformation and combine the data from both of them so this is what we did in the previous tutorial and now uh, let's see part five which is uh, using first successful router for high availability. So this is part five of the interacting with databases in MUL4 uh, tutorial series. So we are going to see uh, how to use first successful router for high availability. So at the end, we are going to build something like this. So we have a listener here on the left and there is a first successful, first successful what it does is so it checks for us the first the first one in this case we are we are trying to get data uh from my sql and postgres it is the same data but what it is going to do is it checks if it if uh, the request the select statement statement from my sql if it works uh, if it it works successfully if it completes successfully then it doesn't go to postgres but if for some reason if my SQL is not available, then it is going to check for it is going to run the query from Postgres. So this is this is important when we need uh, high availability. So some of our data sources, for example, could be down because of maintenance or other reasons. So if we have a couple of data sources, we can come we can use for a successful like this. So always it will be it will be in. Uh, uh, it will not fail so if if one of the sources fails then it is going to check uh, the other one so let's build this and see how to use it so in part one of this uh, tutorial i think uh, uh, here we uh, we we installed mysql and postgres and also we inserted data so that is what we are practicing with so let me close this first and i will create a new project and call it my first successful you can call it whatever name you want okay so the first thing is under uh, http module i'm going to bring a listener and just accept the default configuration here and the path let's say uh, get data let's the path let's give it get data save this and let's see what we want to build so we want to build like this so next we bring in for a successful i think it is under core module if we scroll down we have for a successful here then we bring uh, select statements we need two of them select the recent version here uh, bring another one again and drop it here so this one i will connect it to uh, my SQL and the connection for my SQL click this plus sign and change this connection to my SQL and for configuration click here and add Maven and click finish here then provide your host local host in my case port number 3306 user is root uh, database the database we created in part one of the tutorial is in northwind mm, so i go here and 
choose nose wind and password password that i'm using for this tutorial is this one and so let me check connection here okay so test uh, connection is successful now let's go to uh, workbench and see this we have this different tables that we created in the first part of the the tutorials so let's just select some data from one of these tables of customer for example from this customer table we see it has this data so we we can get back to any point studio here and just make type our sql query text as select star from customer we, we don't just want to be fancy here we we want to see to test the first successful so what we are going to do is we are first going to test it and it should give us data from uh my sql and the next we are going to turn off my sql and still run it and it should it should uh since my sql will not work in that case it should give us data from postgres so that is what we are testing so uh save this now let's do the connection to postgres the same sql text and this one select Postgres a connection for Postgres we have to add Maven dependency for it. Oh first we make this connection type a generic connection then we add the Maven uh, for my for Postgres we just can get it online if we type Postgres Maven and it takes us to this repository so uh, copy and paste this here now then we specify the url and the driver class name and so on we just saw in detail what these ones are in the previous tutorials so just copy paste them i have them somewhere here this is the url for postgres and i have to change the database name to the database we created it is nosewind and driver class this is the driver class mm, here my username is postgres and my password is this one so i can paste it here test connection uh it's saying oh the node wind should be uppercase it is uppercase in uh, this case sensitive and it is uppercase in postgres i have seen this so here as you can see my database is not doing the uppercase n test connection perfect uh, now let's add now let's add uh, transformers to both of them so under core module we get transform message drop it here and also drop it here so by default since the payload will be in java format we want to change it to json and just we want the payload the same thing here also we want to eat json replace this by payload and save this next let's add loggers so under core module we have logger here drop it here drag and drop again here so here we are going to our message will be the data 
is from mysql whereas the logger for this one will be the data is from postgres save this so what we are going to do is now if i show the services let me show you that let me make sure both of them both my sql and the postgres are running so if i scroll down to m and p my sql is here as you can see it is running and postgres is also here and it is running so when i first uh, run this project and send a query it should give me data and in the console it should print that the data is from mysql because that is the first uh, operation we have under the first successful uh, router and then we are going to uh, turn off my sql we are going to stop it and then rerun the same so now it has deployed we are going to send a request from arc and in the console we should we should see where the data is coming from let me clear this and go to us the path we have here okay get data so let's call this clear this and this one get data so it should give us data one thing okay here is the data customer data and in the console we should see where the data came from so if we go here it should tell us the source of the data the data is from my sql oh. as you can see here the data is from my sql now let us <clears throat> turn off my sql service this one let's stop it stop and then we are going to resend the same request and it should tell us that the, the data came from postgres so go here clear it and resubmit so there there is a data and if you go here you see the data is from postgres so it came from postgres so uh, if we have the data in different locations and we can use for a successful for high availability so that when some of the services some of the data uh, sources are down for some reason then uh, our flow can get the data from the other from the other sources so let me get back and turn on my sql again now when i submit the request it should tell me that the data came from my sql okay go here uh, as you can see the first, in the first case it told us the data was from mysql but then we turned mysql off and then when we submitted a request is it, it told us the data was from postgres it got the data from postgres now if we submit another request here is the data and if you go here as you can see the data is now from my sql 